Good morning, everyone, and and thanks for the time. We're very excited to give you a, a Q1 update on Biz Equity, and also excited that we we hit our max allowance in terms of number of people that have joined. Um, so we've had a lot of demand for this session, um, and we're very excited to 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 show um, all the new features that we have already deployed this past quarter and where we're going in the quarters ahead. Um, the first quarter for Biz Equity, and, and I want to thank everybody on this call because um, we're all in this together with our mission to help your existing clients, some of your best clients or business owners, as we all know, but also to help the prospects that you have not met yet that are business owning clients. And um, we had a record quarter uh, for the company. And I say that less about us and more about you all, um, since we're all in this together, to help democratize this essential knowledge to this important community of influencers, which are business owners. We have now, um, as of today, over 164 advisor offices and, and approaching 850 users, and that's just since last May. Um, and over the course of the last quarter or two, uh, we have six of the, of the top 20 insurance carriers as um, new, new, new clients and partners of ours, and some of those names are mentioned. Um, as you all know from your updates on the product from our head of product management, Eric May, um, we it continue to listen to our users and build that into our roadmap. This is not a roadmap built on an ivory tower or any, or any small tower, I guess, or small one or two floor building in Wayne, Pennsylvania. Um, this is based upon you, and we're here to serve you. Um, and along with, with that, um, as we'll talk about later, um, we've, we've really doubled down on that with the creation of our new success team um, with uh, two leaders uh, uh, from a, a very um, successful financial uh, advisory product company that have joined us to help take that to the next level. So from an advisor's perspective, we continue to get um, tremendous feedback, try to build that feedback into the actual product roadmap. And what we do is um, continue to innovate and, and as our development team and engineering team run sprints to meet these features and, and, these, um, and this desired playbook that you all need. Some of the stories that emerged before getting into um, the new features that that we developed um, are coming from some of the biggest carriers out there. And I think it's really important to just highlight these because what it shows is how different people are using the product uh, for their own success. And it ranges from new customer acquisition or new prospect acquisition. And this is an example of this where a very innovative and one of the top producers in the US from Mass Mutual used our product um, as a way to engage their local small business community and do a seminar series. And instead of typically getting six people around the table, they were able to attract 25 people and the results were tremendous. They were able to land uh, two new policies at, at $15,000 each and had seven new prospects um, from just this breakfast seminar series. So one way we've seen people use biz equity as we'll talk about later is from a prospecting acquisition perspective. Another way, um, is from a retention and our upselling perspective. Um, very excited about this and, and giving some very successful folks at some of the best carriers in the United States um, and the best mutuals in the, in the US an ability to work with their existing customers better, especially as this, this illustrates a organization where there's two or three partners and there's different conversations about what that value is for that business and the old adage that 40% of business owners don't have life insurance and 50% are underinsured. How can you prove that in an environment where there's multiple partners? And the old way to do business valuation, as we all know, used to take four to six weeks and cost a lot of money. Biz Equities made that really simple and democratized that knowledge through all of you so that these conversations can occur, consensus can be um, achieved quicker and, and better that these individuals or these business owners are better protected um, for themselves and for their families. And this is an example of that, uh, which we were very excited to hear um, last week. And then finally, um, our friend Marco uh, from Hawaii, um, who's at Guardian, 
you know, this is a whole nother way to use biz equity, which is a whole new way um, to create a revenue, a revenue line or revenue stream with the impact of DOL, which is out there with Department of Labor getting in to, um, you know, some of the aspects of uh, financial advi financial advisory business. This business valuation is a whole new way for an advisor to have an extra arrow in their quiver to add value and to bring in additional revenue and the ability that Marco's found in his market in Hawaii in some key verticals like um, dent the dentistry industry to add value to that to that marketplace. So three different ways just to highlight how the product's being used both from an acquisition perspective, a retention perspective, as well as kind of a new business line perspective. And these are just three success stories from this past quarter. We'd love to hear from all of you. And as you um, have um, additional success stories to highlight those, because I think it helps the broader community to learn. Because um, again, we're all in this together and how we can use this product um, to, to help the, the broader small business market, but then also um, to help each other um, and help each other grow. So with that said, now we're in the heart of this and why we're all here. Um, it's around the, the update around the biz equity product. I'm really passionate about this idea of this scoreboard. Um, as everyone knows, in less than 10 minutes, business owners um, through all of you can go through our seven step product, seven step tool and get a valuation for their business. Um, as well as what we've put in the report it, are these um, KPIs, key performance indicators that have been called McKinsey for Main Street. We've moved beyond that now. And if you look at this, I think it's so compelling where we have the world's largest database of business valuation knowledge. And now we're starting to expose that more and more. The next generation of a dashboard, if you're all familiar with that term that's out there today, seems like everyone has a dashboard for their particular product. I really feel the next generation is a scoreboard. The idea of helping the business owner know how they're doing against their peer group. And we're starting to expose that piece by piece, starting with their actual business valuation in their, in their industry, as you see the left nationally, as well as in their local community. So, you know, how cool is it now that through working with their financial advisor, they can show family members, they can show business partners, how they stack against their peer group. Um, so, you know, our mission from the beginning, right, has been to democratize this knowledge, and this is another notch um, to, do, to do that. Um, and the feedback that we've gotten has been tremendous because business owners love this because they feel, you know, as we all know, because you're all entrepreneurs on this call, it's very lonely when you run your own business and when you start your own business. And this helps the business owner feel less alone, helps them understand that, wait a minute, in this particular type of consumer manufacturing company here, there are, you know, 13,577 firms like me in the U.S. But locally, I'm the second most valuable um, in my industry. Um, that kind of keeps them going and keeps them moving forward. And I, and I think that that's a really important and very cool feature um, and you're going to see more and more stuff like this from us. Um, and we're very excited about this new new feature called the company scoreboard. Um, the next feature, and, and if, I, if I look at it, the company scoreboard kind of came from a bit of our vision and a bit of the feedback that we've received from, from, um, from, all, for, from all you and, and our respective users. This feature, 100% came from our user group. And um, it's the save for later delegate feature and this is the ability to make it easier in this seven step process even though we think we made it incredibly easier easy to fill out this data um, is to make it even more uh, simple and what we've done is as you'll see and it'll only become uh, more pronounced and prominent as we go right now it's um, the feedback we've gotten is is tremendous but could you make it larger in a different color which you'll see soon um, the delegate feature here along the way, any, any step from, I think, two through seven, you can click delegate. And when you click on delegate, you can fill in the different name of the person you want to send it to, their email address, their role. And their role is anything from your controller, your external accountant, your CFO. And the user can pass this seven-step system along for them to fill it out. Additionally, you can save for later to come back. 
So, you know, our engineering team, which has historically been the strength of the company with our product, um, they've really taken kind of a Google-esque approach where we always wanted to make it very self-service for the user going through. And we've gone beyond that now with this delegate and save for later feature to make it even more simple, um, to make sure that we get the data in the system so that we can add value along the way. The manage access links. Um, this is the ability uh, for the user to, to send the access link to different contributors um, that want to see uh, the additional information on that business. Um, we've asked the, our users asked for that. Um, our success team has been demoing this feature, and it's a, it's a great little feature. I don't want to spend too much time on this, um, but again, it's something that our users want it, and, and we want it to make it very easy for an advisor and or their team to, to more accurately uh, route the particular accounts and prospects or customers to the respective advisors and to manage that process more seamlessly. And finally, what I'm very excited about, um, and I think some folks might have seen a sneak peek on this and might have seen some video around it, it's this idea of smarter prospecting and the contacts from BizEquity. So a little bit about this. So as you all know, one of the features that I think we're, we're very passionate about and excited about was the prospecting feature where you can search over 910 industries and over 29 million businesses at the time to figure out businesses in your area and what they could be worth. What we heard from users um, was the fact that, you know, and, and some great successes like Joe Malley from Peerless, part of Mass Mutual, one of their top GAs, he assigned a young marketing person in his group to use our tool to find the particular business that they wanted to go after or find different businesses based upon their value. But then that, that person, that marketing person would research, go to Google, or go to LinkedIn and find the contacts to set the meeting for Joe. What we did is say, well, how, what if we kind of mainline that or mainstream that? What if we were able, using machine learning and using our you know, relationship with you know, Equifax and some other top tier one data providers where their databases cost millions of dollars, what if we were able to make that more available to our users? And that's what we did. So now um, we're up to over um, and approaching, I believe, um, 32 million companies valued and even more growing every day, we're also able to show these contact records. So for instance, each contact record is either an A or B. A is based upon the amount of data we have here, or B is a slightly less data. And what you what you see when you click, as, as John Treese just did here, you see the contact details of the individual their phone number, the URL, the number of employees, the year established, and they're almost breadcrumbs, right, for that business owner to begin to have breadcrumbs for that conversation that you will have with them. So whether you know whether it's whether it's Scott or Janice from from Hague's um, Scott F O D company, I think it's a dentist optom optometrist. You can start and, and gather more and more information on that particular person so that your first engagement with them, and this is a particular low valuation, but your first engagement with that person, um, you can have a more concrete conversation, know a little bit about them, um, and kind of move that conversation along. It's all based upon, and this is very important, public available data on private businesses. Nothing here is from you know um, personal records. It's all stuff we were able to get in the public domain or through our exclusive data relationships. And for a lot of you on the phone, we've heard different things like, oh my God, if you could only bring, you know, I pay money for uh, databases that are out there and none of the databases are really good, but I spend money on, you know, sales genie lists or who I think is a pretty good list, by the way, or other lists that are out there. Um, and if you could put that data within your system, oh my God, you know, you kill two, two, two birds with one stone here for us. And that's what we decided to do. So um, as we always say here at Biz Equity, um, everything to us is incremental. Everything to us is kind of our mission to democratize this knowledge through all of you back to the business owner community. So it's only going to get better. 
but I think it's it's truly tremendous, and, and, and I'm very excited about this feature because it makes the prospecting aspect of using business valuation to help business owners figure out their value or to get these meetings with business owners a no-brainer. Um, I always say if I, if I wasn't doing this, um, which is my passion and my love, um, meaning biz equity, I think I would use biz equity and have my own agency or become an advisor because we are hearing stories now every other day, I'd say every day, but almost not yet, every other day from our advisors saying, oh my God, I use this and rather than call the business owners to say, hey, do you need another estate plan? Or, hey, are you looking to sell? I'm a succession planner. Or, um, hey, do you need more insurance? Now I can call and say, if you're like 98% of all business owners, you don't know what your business is worth. I want to help you. We have this new tool and I can give you a free estimate of your value. Can I schedule a meeting with you? They say yes, you have their email address or you ask for their email address. You send them the access link, they fill it out. You hand them the report when you meet them and it's a home run. So there's few things that are out there right in life, which is a true win-win. And this is one of these products where you're actually helping your prospects and you're helping your clients. Um, so, and the contact features, um, you know, take it to the next level. So, everyone on the call today, or the people, or the folks that weren't able to join, um, but we'll see this in a recorded session, um, will get access to this feature, and we're actually going to pass it on um, for free. So, we're not, you know, trying to charge for this. It's a feature that is awesome. We're the only ones offering this today, but it's only going to get better. Um, and we're going to pass it on as free as another reason why um, I think everyone should extend their membership into Biz Equity for the years to come. Um, as you can see, we listen to our users, we innovate, um, we hear you, um, and we're trying to make our product better and better and better um, to help the business owner community as well as you all grow your books and better serve the client. So everybody on this call, um, we'll get free access and it's going to be turned on. I'm looking at um, Christine and John here who run um, our success team at Biz Equity um, and they'll be in contact with all of you um, and we're incredibly, incredibly, incredibly excited about this. Now, if that wasn't enough, next up is our roadmap. Um, and when we were putting this together to talk about what we were going to show everyone, um, I think collectively we could not wait um, to share some of the things, I'm not so good with secrets, so to share some of the things we have in store um, for everyone. So, we'll start with the Success Center. And I'm, I don't feel uh, comfortable, even though I'll do it, because I was asked to do it, I don't feel comfortable speaking to this, because I didn't um, come up with it, and I didn't build it. Um, our Success Center did, our success, success team, uh, John and Christine, um, and what the Success Center is, is, again, we hear tremendous feedback from our users. And unlike other products in the space, this one, Biz Equity, is, might be low frequency in terms of you might only use it once a week or once a month, but it's incredibly high value. So you only have to be right once, as one of our users said, and it can bring in you know fifteen dollars to $20,000 just using it one time. So how do you make folks... Um, help kind of show them how to use it more and more and help share the successes, some of the successes by which that we talked about. It's through this success center. So soon, in the next month or two, maybe a little sooner, you'll be having access to this through our AO, um, through our advisor office, where there's a success center that's really your marketing playbook in terms of how to use the product um, to help your customers, help find new prospects, and help grow your business. There'll be best practice videos. Um, there's going to be industry best practices. There's going to be enhanced FAQ and other resources. And some of the things that the team did, um, I'm blown away at. And, and so I won't kind of get into too much detail. I want you guys all to dig around and see it. But everything from best practice email templates that we've seen used, best practice postcards or direct mailers that we've seen folks use. It's truly awesome. So um, if it was already a easy system, um, that had tremendous value. Now it's becoming, you know, we're literally um, spoon feeding great uh, spoon feeding success, I think. And and when everyone sees it, I think you'll be blown away. Um, and that's a testament to the success team that we've put put together here at Biz Equity. Now, 
Finally, um, this is very cool. Um, everyone on the call, if you're familiar with, there was a very successful company the last few years that I think Northwest Mutual, now is part of Northwest Mutual, called um, LearnVest. And LearnVest really existed just to route leads to providers that would sign up with them and pay them right, some form of a fee for the leads. And, and it was a consumer, kind of direct to consumer to do financial planning. We've taken that a step further, um, and we've had this idea now since the company's birth five years ago, and we're excited to, to make it a reality in the months to come. And this is the idea of the Biz Equity Network. And the Biz Equity Network is um, every day, without really trying, just because of our, um, I think our, our kind of brand in, in the marketplace and, and our mission, we get small business owners that go to Biz Equity. And again, 99% of our revenue and 100% of our focus is all about the channel, all about you. Uh, um, but in historically, we haven't done anything with these businesses that come through Biz Equity or kind of kick the tires, right? These small business owners across the United States, in the United Kingdom where we have an office, in Singapore where we have an office, and in India now, which we'll talk about on the next call. Um, and we never really did much about that. And we never, meaning, we wanted to kind of show people, look, yes, the product works, how tremendous the Zillow for business type of application is, so on and so forth. But now that we have a network of over 800 advisors that are out there, um, we can begin to start routing those leads and we can begin to start fulfilling our mission because it's helpful to the business owner to have them be connected to an advisor that has biz equity. And I truly believe it's going to be one of these things that, you know, you kind of can't afford not to have it, much like um, great financial planning software 14 years ago that eMoney ushered in. And nowadays, I don't think there's an advisor worth, worth their salt that doesn't have an automated financial planning tool. Similarly, I think that's what you're going to see with biz equity. So we're launching the biz equity network. So everybody that is an advisor office member of biz equity, will have a profile on the advisor network and it's a free profile it's just going to come with part of your subscription we're not trying to like linkedin at least for the next 12 months right we're not trying to add a lead fee yet because you guys are all customers of ours and we want to blow you away um, with the capabilities that we have so you'll all be profiled so if you're a succession planner you'll be a, um, you know, a, a, maybe a, a different color profile. If you're a financial advisor, a wealth advisor, insurance advisor, what type of financial advisor, you'll be profiled. And they'll have the ability to schedule a meeting directly with you. So the idea is now we're connecting the front door, which is the kind of just organically, the folks that arrive at Biz Equity and, and you know, play around with the tool. We're connecting the over 50 people we see a day come in, the companies back to our advisors based upon your criteria. So now we're not only just giving you the tools, but we're literally going to be giving you the leads. Um, and, you know, I think it's it's tremendous. So depending upon your location and depending upon your profile, you'll be put into our database and you will be routed leads um, from our success team and eventually an automated lead um, where there will also be meetings scheduled and, and so on and so forth. So that you'll hear more and more about this. This is, as you can imagine, a complicated endeavor. Um, so it's not something we're going to turn on tomorrow, but it's something we're going to turn on in Q2. Um, and we can't wait um, to uh, show it all to everybody. We gave you a sneak peek today um, and have you all participate in this. Um, truly um, this is a, I think, revolutionary thing in this marketplace that we've done, and this um, takes it to the next level. Finally, um, you know, we always talk about, and I, and I kind of steered clear from it on the first or second slide, because if I've done a good job, our sales folks like John, Brent, Megan, and Naman internationally have always talked about the elephant in the room, and the elephant in the room is always, uh, what's your business worth? Meaning the biggest question that nobody talks about is the value of their business. Um, but what what I found one morning at 4.30 in the morning, getting up early um, and uh, doing a presentation in a den at my home was a commercial by the World Wildlife Foundation 
um, around the elephant epidemic. And I was thinking, well, wait a minute, the elephant in the room isn't just the value of your client or your prospect's business, which is your best um, potential revenue generator out there. It's also the fact that these beautiful creatures are being poached. And um, so we've joined with the, um, the World Wildlife Foundation, and we now um, have sponsored a number of elephants and um, so every advisor office member um, you know you'll be hearing from us uh, we've sponsored an elephant for you and it's just a way to show you you know we believe that um, you know you, when you do well you should do good and this is a, a, a you know an example of that um, kind of a, a social cause that we believe in it's called the elephant initiative um, so with that said I want to open it up to, to Q&A um, and we'll be back in a couple minutes with some additional questions. And the ability to get the questions to us is through the chat button, I believe, um, that John and Christine have set up. So please send some, some, um, some questions over to us, and um, I'll be back with a, a few of the questions in, in a moment. We have our first question, um, and the question says, um, basically, is the, the contact records, are all those, are all those leads coming from prospects that I um, use the service with, if I get that question correct. Is that correct, Christine? Mm -hmm. um, and no, definitely not. So the contact records feature is from the public domain, has nothing to do with any of the advisors, prospects, or contacts. Um, we, we isolate, separate, encrypt. Um, there are two kind of data lakes or databases. One is the public domain, which you see on the contact records and the prospect search feature. And the other one is your data that you use with your prospects and your clients. And never two are those streams crossed. So there, you know, it's, the, it's I think it's the, um, you know, the Thames and the Atlantic Ocean. I mean, they never touch. And that's similar with, um, with, with this. So your, pro, your clients and prospects are totally protected. Um, even if we have the rights, we don't have the rights to, to touch those, and we won't. So they do not come in as contact records, just to be clear. Next question is, um, when is the projected go-live date for the contact records? And I would say, you know, it'll be in the next 24 hours. 24 to 48 hours, um, we'll turn it on for everybody on this call. The next question is, when will contact records and some of the new features that were discussed be ported and used in the Singaporean system? So, as luck would have it, uh, we have Naman Shah, who runs Singapore for us here in the room with me, who just came in um, on Sunday and is going to be with us for a few weeks. Um, you know, that's something, it's a work in progress. As soon as there's enough data to do that um, from the public domain, we will do that. Um, right now, I believe there's a few thousand contact records we can expose in Singapore. Um, Naman's nodding, so I actually gave the correct answer there. So there's a, there, there are a few thousand. So we're going to build upon that, and you'll see more and more of those features be exposed to other parts of the market, including um, the United Kingdom, which we're turning on the contact records for soon, um, um, and Singapore probably after that. We have time for one last last question, um, and here we go. So I think this is a good one. How do I get started with the new uh, network, the Biz Equity Network, um, and how long will it take? Um, so the, our success team will be reaching out with a kind of advisor survey, um, so the ability for you to help us fill out your profile. Um, and that's something we'll use to build um, when we go live in Q2 with the, with the Biz Equity Network. Um, so you'll be hearing from our team in the weeks to come. We'll get additional data from all of you that are clients um, on this call um, in terms of how you're going to be profiled, where you're located, other criteria, um, different accreditations you have and the types of industries that you serve. And this gets really interesting. So if I'm an advisor in Toledo, Ohio, and I know I'm really good with manufacturing companies and professional services companies that do between you know two and $20 million in revenue, that's an example of the type of profile we'll be creating. Um, so in the weeks to come, um, we, you will get this survey information. We will fill out your profile 
And in Q2, um, the advisor network and the biz equity network will go live. Um, so we're, we're, we're very excited about this. Any additional questions that you might have once we drop off or we weren't able to get to, um, please um, just email us um, at, which we, which, w. yeah, Christine W, K-R-I-S-T-I-N-E-W at bizequity.com or Mike, um, me, M-I-K-E at bizequity.com. And, you know, again, I really want to thank everybody for your support. This has been a mission for us the last five years, and it's it's uh, really awesome to see the the product take off, um, and the product's only taking off because it's being being um, helping you all be successful and helping your clients and your prospects gain from this knowledge, and that's been our goal from the beginning. Um, and again, any other additional ideas on the product side? As you know, every quarter from our head of product management, you get an update in terms of um, some of these new features that we've been able to go through today. And what we're going to do, I think, with the success team is um, certainly at least once a quarter, I would love to do uh, a session like this with everybody. Um, and, you know, any questions, ideas, comments, please send them uh, to us. And again, thanks, everyone, for your time and uh, really looking forward to your continued partnership and working with you in the years to come.